So here's a weird question. Does your brain actually work differently if you speak one language versus two or five? And if it does, does that mean you're secretly missing out if you only speak one? Or are bilinguals just tired all the time from constantly translating in their heads? Today, we're diving into what science actually says about monolingual and multilingual brains. And the answer is way stranger than you think. When we talk about language, we're not just talking about words. Language literally shapes how your brain develops. For monolinguals, the brain organizes itself around one main system. For bilinguals or multilinguals, the brain builds several systems that have to constantly interact. This interaction matters because it changes how the brain handles attention, memory, and even decision making. And no, this doesn't mean multilingual people are automatically smarter. But it does mean their brains are wired to handle life in a slightly different way. Let's start with multilinguals. When you grow up searching between languages, your brain learns to constantly choose which one to use. This kind of mental juggling strengthens your executive functions. That's basically your brain's ability to focus, switch tasks, and ignore distractions. It also shows up in long-term benefits. Some studies have found that bilinguals develop symptoms of dementia several years later than monolinguals. The theory is that managing multiple languages gives the brain a kind of workout, building a cognitive reserve that helps predict against decline. That doesn't mean that it's a, a foolproof way to protect yourself against dementia, but it could be a great help to slow the degeneration. It's not all superhero stuff. Multilinguals sometimes take longer to recall specific words, and they also occasionally mix languages without meaning to. So the trade-off is stronger control systems, but occasionally slower access to one particular word. Now monolinguals. The story here isn't less than, it's just different. When your brain only has one language system, it gets really good at making that system fast and efficient. You don't have to mentally juggle choices, which means your brain can retrieve words quicker and with fewer slips. And let's be honest, having one language doesn't mean you're cut off from the world. What matters most is how deeply you use the language you do have. People can still be creative, intelligent and articulate without speaking multiple tongues. The brain adapts to what it has and it optimizes that. Now here's where it gets interesting. Research suggests that language influences how we see the world. For example, some languages don't use left and right. They only describe things in terms of north, south, east, west. People raised in those languages are better at navigation because their brains are trained to orient constantly. So when someone speaks more than one language, they're not just adding vocabulary, they might be switching perspectives. Some bilinguals even say they feel like different versions of themselves depending on the language they are speaking. Not in a creepy way, just in the sense that language brings out different emotional tones, habits, or ways of relating to others. So, what does this all mean? Monolingual brains are efficient and fast, multilingual brains are flexible and resilient. One isn't better than the other. They are just tuned differently. And honestly, both have their own little advantages and disadvantages. The real takeaway is that language is more than just communication. It shapes your brain in the background whether you notice it or not. Which raises a fun question. If you learnt a new language tomorrow, how much would you change without even realizing it? Also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and liking. Thank you.